This is one of those projects which are best described by showing you. In this video, I am going to give you an overview of fascinating project called as Diffusion Forcing. Diffusion Forcing unifies text token prediction, for example, LL and full sequence diffusion such as Sora. It offers improved performance and new sampling strategies in vision and robotics such as stable, infinite video generation, better diffusion planning, and much, much. This research has come out of MIT and it combines the strength of full sequence diffusion models, text token models acting as either or a mix at sampling time for different applications without retraining. This is a new training paradigm where a diffusion model is trained, denoise a set of tokens with independent per token noise level, and they have applied diffusion forcing to generative modeling by training a puzzle X token prediction model to generate one or several future tokens without fully diffusing past. Now, let me show you what exactly I look at this video from their project page, and I will drop the link. Just try to guess what is happening. And let me play it from the start again and I will try to describe what is happening. So the thing is that this is where long horizon imitation learning the robotic. Many real world tasks are not Markovian and require long horizon memory. In their real robo robot task, a robot arm is asked to drop the two fruits using a third slot. Since the fruits are input in random slots at the beginning, one cannot determine the next steps from a single observation without knowledge of the initial. They have simply removed guidance from the experiment and jointly diffused an observation sequence to perform feedback control. So this video shows multiple continuous processes between you can observe that the robot is able to accomplish the task even when the fruit is randomized by the previous. On the other hand, they have tried sort of imitation learning. Cannot perform Markovian. Let's try another video, another um, technique. It is that hard, but if you look here, what is happening here is. Diffusion forcing is achieving a lot of success by training sequence diffusion but allow each token to have a different noise. One can view noises in diffusion as varying levels to establish a uniform. That is you can see. This is another angle where one can use different noise levels at sampling time to achieve predictable behavior as stabilizing or Guidance over long horizon or planning with puzzle. Same thing is happening here. And now look at this short video clip. So, this is a list of synthesized videos which I am going to show you now. In this one, video prediction by diffusing forcing baseline in EM lab data set is. Teacher forcing easily blows up while causal full sequence diffusion. But diffusing for uh, diffusion diffusion forcing can achieve at the top stable and consistent video prediction. PNG visualization are provided. The next one. You can also see all of it here. If I play it out, video prediction by diffusion forcing and in Minecraft data set. Teacher forcing easily blows up while causal full sequence diffusion models perform serious consistency. Then there are a lot of other look at this. For example, now the, in this one, uh, this is an example of stabilizing infinite rollout without slide. And this is a PNG visualization again. The next one, look at this one. And this is where some of the diffusion forcing trained on 36 and roll out for. So 
just like the Minecraft. And in certain scenarios, the agent is going to block either or stone block, till it switch, which is an in issue. Let's check out it. This is where diffusion planning is. So, and they can use test time here diffusion. But they have explicitly modeled the causal relationship by defining token. By doing so, they have brief over action to take and the observation. Similarly, again, another example of that robotic. And they have simply removed the garden experiment and have jointly diffused so all in all amazing stuff so in summary in a nutshell this paper presents diffusion forcing which is a new training pattern where a diffusion model is trained to deal with independent per token noise they have applied diffusion forcing to modeling Training a causal neck token prediction to generate one or several future tokens without fully diffusing. This approach is shown to combine the strength of next token prediction models such as variable length generation. This variable horizon and lead to more performance. I think this is one more step where the LLMs. And diffusion model would become. So that's it. I'm going to drop the link to this this description. Play around with it. to <clears throat> like the content. Please consider the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among. You.